Welcome to day eight, in which we're going to look at data governance with Purview. So I'm in the Purview Studio. I've already connected my Purview environment to my Synapse Analytics workspace and scanned my dedicated SQL pool and also my serverless SQL pools databases. So we can have a look at that on the data map. Okay, and in my collection topology, I have my Azure Synapse Analytics workspace already connected and scanned. If we have a little look at the details, we can see we have a scan, we have a last run status, and we have some discovered and classified assets. Now, what we can do is we can go into the data catalog area in Purview, and I can start to browse and search assets. So let me click Browse Assets firstly, and we can either select by the collection itself or by the source type. So I'm going to search by collection in my analytics collection. Okay, And as you can see, I've got a whole list of all the resources that Purview has scanned and brought in and tagged. So what I can do is I can search or I can sort by name or by relevance, and I can narrow down by selecting a classification of that information in there. If I go into something like dim customer, I'll be able to see that it's actually classified certain aspects of this table. If I go into properties, I can see some properties. If I go into the schema, I'll be able to see the schema of that table. If I go back to the data catalog and search, and this time if I search for customers, then I'll get everything associated to that search keyword. So Purview is excellent for connecting to data sources like Synapse Analytics, scanning and loading in the metadata for you to search for all your tables and objects.